Barack Obama has been re-elected as the President of the United States. Uh, the question is, what can we expect in the next four years? Uh, there are a number of areas, economic, security, what's happening overseas. But I think one area which I have focused on in my entire life deals with civil liberties. When we look at Barack Obama's civil liberties history, we have to be concerned. Obama's inconsistency in upholding civil liberties began before he even took office. In 2003, for example, he said he would vote to repeal the Patriot Act, but in 2006, as a senator, he voted to extend it. And in 2008, right before being elected, Obama voted in favor of granting major telecoms that spied on unsuspecting innocent Americans retroactive immunity from crimes. In March 2009, only two months after being elected, Obama defended Bush's George W. Bush's unconstitutional National Security Agency spying program in court. Obama went so far as to insist that actions authorized by the president, including illegally spying on American citizens, should be free of any judicial scrutiny whatsoever. In April 2009, the Department of Homeland Security, under the Obama administration, launched a program called Operation Vigilant Eagle which calls for surveillance of military veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan, characterizing our returning vets as extremists and potential domestic terrorists. In July 2009, Obama threatened to veto an oversight bill that would have required the president to inform lawmakers about secret, covert CIA activities. In February 2010, the Department of Defense issued a U.S. Army field manual detailing the prospective internment and resettlement of American citizens in event of another terrorist attack or national disaster on U.S. soil. In July 2010, the Obama administration arrested 23-year-old Army soldier Bradley Manning on charges that he leaked some classified military and diplomatic documents to the anti-secrecy website WikiLeaks. He was put in solitary confinement. This is an American citizen, forced to sit in a lotus position, couldn't see his lawyer, couldn't see his family. The message sent by the Obama, Obama administration, if you want transparency in government, you might have something the American people need to know, don't even consider it. In May 2011, Obama expanded the war effort with bombings in Libya, Somalia, and Yemen. This is the Nobel Peace Prize winning president. Later that month, Obama signed a four-year extension of the three controversial provisions in the U.S. Patriot Act. That same month, the U.S. Supreme Court, in an eight-to-one ruling in Kentucky v. King, decimated the Fourth Amendment, saying that if a SWAT team arrives at your door, wrong address, wrong, wrong place, wrong person, but they think you might be doing something illegal inside, they can crash through your door, throw you face down, and arrest you and take you away to jail. Believe it or not, the Obama administration filed a brief saying the police should have a right to do this. In September 2011, two American citizens were killed during a drone attack in Yemen as part of a government kill list operation. Remember, these are American citizens. Obama personally directed the killing of these American citizens. What about the rule of law folks, which says that American citizens get a trial, a lawyer, and all the things that our justice system supposedly provides us? In December 2011, the Senate passed the National Defense Authorization Act, which allows the military to arrive at your door, even if you're an American citizen, if you're, they consider you a terrorist of any kind, and take you away and put you in military confinement. This bill was quietly signed into law by President Obama on New Year's Eve. In February 2012, Obama signed the FAA Reauthorization Act, which allows drones to begin flying over America by 2015. At least 30,000 of these things will be flying over America by 2020. Not one single word in this legislation that Obama signed gives protections for our civil liberties. Remember, drones will be equipped with anti-personal weapons such as rubber bullets, tasers, and also surveillance devices like scanners that can see through your homes. No protections for us in, a, in that particular bill. These are just a few of the provisions over Obama's four-year term dealing with civil liberties. I've done a detailed commentary, which you should read at rutherford.org. It's called Obama's First Term Track Record on Civil Liberties. What it shows is, folks, if this continues, what we consider freedom in the past is going to be lost. And here's the other thing we have to be concerned about. All these anti-civil libertarian provisions that Obama's put into place, things that were continued by 
that he continued from George Bush. Bush was not any better. Obama just has extended George Bush. The next president is going to have these powers. The president sitting in the Oval Office deciding who he's going to kill, even American citizens. Are you alarmed?